morning everybody welcome back to another vlog i'm sophia if you guys are new here um i'm about to do my makeup i wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup routine because i feel like i haven't shown you guys what my makeup routine is i really try to keep my makeup very minimal like sometimes like right now i don't have any makeup on yeah we're gonna do that quickly because i want to go to we work the workspace and get some work done over there i need to get some coffee because our Nespresso doesn't work. It only makes one cup of coffee for my sister when she makes it and then it doesn't do it again. And it does that every single day. So it's like whoever gets in the Nespresso first gets coffee and then whoever's after that is shit out of luck. So yeah, anyways, um, not a huge deal. The first thing that I'm gonna be doing is putting on some SPF. This is like a daily moisturizer from um, Sanjali MD. One thing that I want to do is start wearing SPF every day. I did not wear SPF every day, which I should because it helps, you know, protect your skin. And yeah, so that's going to be something I need to start implementing. And I need to start like getting used to it now because in the summer I need to do that. So um, yeah, I was the person who wouldn't wear SPF or wouldn't wear sunscreen when I'm tanning and yeah not very good for my skin in the long run but okay I got this sent to me from Revlon this is the Colorstay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer this concealer is so good I am in the shade 50 it has caffeine and vitamin C I don't know what about it about this concealer but it is so good it's so good and it comes in this really it's, it's a bit of weird of a uh, applicator but you just squeeze a little bit out of it they sent me a bunch of different shades as well this one is like the perfect shade for me right now and i just dot it i don't know maybe it's just because this is like the perfect shade for me but this concealer is so good and i feel like it really lasts all day because sometimes concealers i can i can see it on my skin like kind of sinking into my skin if that makes sense and it like goes away um this one is so good i don't know is it new? is it new it has to be i feel like i've never heard of it and they sent it to me in like a cool pr package they sent it to me in a actual coffee like coffee press a french press with a bunch of different shades and coffee beans because this is like has caffeine and stuff um but yeah, it's a 5-in-1 concealer, so not sponsored, but honestly, like, one of the best concealers I've ever used. So, there's that. I haven't been wearing mascara because, one, I've been getting eye infections, and someone in the comments was saying that it's probably my lash serum that I was using, and I honestly think that was it. It was honestly growing my eyelashes, but... I noticed ever since I started using that, I've been getting like I've been getting prone to eye infections. If you guys have seen my vlogs where I'm wearing glasses, I, I have an eye infection at that moment. And I'm not wearing contacts, but I think it's the lash serum. It worked honestly. Like my lashes got really long, and but <laughs> not worth the eye infections. But anyways, I did get this new mascara though when I do decide to wear mascara. But yeah, I did get this new mascara. This is the lash sensational sky high mascara by maybelline this is really good so i use this and the benefit their real one together and they're a really good combination for mascara if you guys are interested but i've been wearing mascara for a few days anyways um and then i'm going to be using the benefit benetint and i think my favorite like makeup product has to be blush and i really wanted to get the charlotte tilbury uh those blush ones the pinkasm one that everyone was like raving about on tiktok but it's sold out everywhere literally everywhere for months and it's sold out on this site it's sold out on every like sephora site on the charlotte tilbury.com um so couldn't get that but i mean once that's available i want to really try it because i really love blush and then i use the Giorgio armani a blush this is in the number 54 i'm surprised they don't have like actual names for these but this is like a really pretty um 
shade of pink and then I just put this on the apples of my cheeks and then oh I also got my eyebrows um, threaded and I have never gotten my eyebrows threaded I think I did maybe once like years and years ago but honestly I don't even remember and I think they didn't even turn out that good but I was home and I decided to get my eyebrows done and I don't have to fill them in anymore like I don't know what happened or what they did but my eyebrows look so good not to toot my own horn but they look good don't they I think I might need to get my eyebrows threaded more because I don't even have to worry about filling them in or just like anything like that and I didn't really need to fill them in that much it was just like the arch I felt like wasn't like it was sparse but I don't know anyways and for highlighter I'm just gonna be using the Becca luster glow powder in pearl glow i got this for christmas and then i just use this elf brush and i just kind of put it on my nose highlight on my cheekbones and kind of just like like that and then i use the butter bronzer from physician uh physician what the fuck physician's formula <laughs> this is in the shade endless summer and I like to use this angled brush from ColourPop and I just put this like on my nose. Th this is me trying to get like a summer sun kiss glow in the winter. <laughs> and then that's it for my, that's what I've been doing for the past few days. And then I just use the ColourPop Blotted Lip oh, Jesus. Talker. And it's it's weird because this is like a, a, like a tinted chapstick and it's really light. But yeah, so that's my makeup routine i'm gonna get ready and we're gonna head out to we work and get some stuff done all right this is the outfit we're going for for today um i'm wearing this north face sherpa jacket that i got for christmas from my parents it's really cute um it has like this little patch right here it's really soft and really comfy um and it has like adjustable things i'll try to find it and link it for you guys down below but and then i'm just wearing my airy crossover leggings i will link down below as well and then my rocket socks <laughs> i've been really loving my water bottle i got this from amazon it's the time stamped like water thing i've been adding this drink mix to it this is the um element orange salt electrolyte drink mix and it's supposed to help with hydration energy so i drink two of these a day because it starts at 8 a.m and then all the way down here is 1 p.m and then you start up again at 2 until 7 p.m so i do this twice so the first one i use with the element um, electrolyte pack and then the second time i refill it it's just plain water so that's what i've been doing Okay guys, I am back from the grocery store. I went to pick up a few things because I am making this one recipe from here. I'm gonna be making the Sofia spiced pork sauce. I just wanted to go to the grocery store and grab these things for dinner tonight. But so for the pasta, I got this linguine pasta and then I got ground sweet Italian pork, an onion, sage and some celery they didn't have any like just regular like celery stalks this was the only type of celery they had so 
Um, I got that. I needed some bay leaves, but they didn't have that at the grocery store either. So we're just gonna have to do without. This is what I'm having for lunch. I made this chicken yesterday and I just made a bunch of it so I can have it for pastas, rice or whatever. But this is what I'm having for lunch. I'm just having some rice and this chicken. And for the chicken, I cooked it in sun-dried tomato like oil. Use Italian seasoning, paprika, and crushed red pepper flakes. And then I just cook that. So that's for lunch. Rocket is over here sleeping next to me. <laughs> we still haven't taken down our uh, Christmas decorations. And I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna do that. Hi guys, welcome to the cooking portion of the vlog. I should like name these portions something like Sophia's Kitchen. I don't know. Anyways, the Sophia's Spiced Pork Sauce. Um, and I got the ingredients for that. That's what I'm gonna make today. Honestly, like prepping this and all that stuff doesn't take long, but um, you have to let the sauce simmer for at least like 45 minutes, which is a long time. So I wanted to start cooking it now. So this is what this one looks like. I'm excited to make it. These are the ingredients. Here you go if you guys want to screenshot it and make it yourself. You can hear Rocket's feet over there. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up the onions Okay, I'm just gonna be using this big pan. We're gonna use three tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna do three tablespoons of that into here and then add the onion, celery, and some salt into here. And we're gonna saute that together. Okay, so the butter is melted. We're going to put in the onions. Um, I'm honestly just going to eyeball <laughs> the celery. And we're just gonna saute this for like three minutes until the onions are slightly translucent. Okay, and then we're going to reduce the heat to low and then cover the pan up and let the vegetables cook until they're tender for about like 30 minutes. So we're gonna stir this occasionally and then get back. Okay, so the vegetables are tender. It's been like 30 minutes. And then we're going to add the ground pork. We're also watching Emily in Paris. It's in the background if you hear it. I'm gonna season with some salt. Okay, so once the pork has browned all over, we're gonna add some milk. We're just gonna be adding one cup of milk. And we're gonna cook this until the milk is fully evaporated. This is gonna take about like 10 minutes. Stir this on medium high heat. Okay, and once the milk has evaporated, it's been about like 10 minutes. I couldn't find any ground cloves or bay leaves, so we're gonna have to do without. But we're gonna add a cup of chicken stock. We're gonna add two tablespoons of tomato paste. This is the Cento tomato paste. I'm just gonna eyeball this. And then we're going to bring the sauce to a boil and then reduce heat to low and then let the sauce simmer. And this is like the longest part. We're just gonna let this sit here for like 45 minutes. Okay, once the sauce is to a boil, we're going to bring the heat back to low. And we're just gonna let this sauce simmer here for, it says about 45 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. And then in the meantime, like closer to when this is finished, we're gonna boil the pasta. And yeah. Okay, the sauce is almost finished. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a small pan right here. We're gonna take three tablespoons of butter. And then we're going to add the sage leaves and then cook until they're slightly crispy. And then we're going to move this seasoned butter into the sauce. We're adding the pasta in. You can use any type of pasta. Um, I'm just using linguine. All right guys, this is dinner. Watching Emily in Paris. 
Let's do a taste test. Taste test. I already kind of tried the pork sauce already. So I already tried it. It's really good. But let's try it together. I just put the pasta with the sauce and like mix it together. There you go. Oh, this is so good. Guys, this is so good. Like, I'm not even joking. It's probably one of the best pastas I've ever made. Ugh, this is so good, stop. Try this recipe, y'all, try it. Good morning, guys. It is a sunny day out today, and it actually snowed. It's the next day. Um, I took a shower, got my morning routine, I went to Starbucks. I've just been going to Starbucks, like, almost every single day and i've just been getting the iced chestnut praline latte this is like the best drink ever i don't know if they're gonna like discontinue it because it's like a holiday drink um but this is like so good so i've just been drinking it and ordering it until i don't know if they're gonna discontinue it but um and then we filled my water bottle with the electrolyte thingies yeah it's 10 a.m i woke up this morning at 8 and kind of got my day started. I'm letting my hair air dry. So on today's agenda of what I need to get done, let's see my productivity planner. To finalize some ignited stuff. Okay, just a few things. Rocket went and experienced snow for the first time. Guys, I was just talking about that in the last vlog about how I was kind of sad that it was snowing for a little bit, but it didn't like stick. So it was, it was like it was uh, raining and I wanted him to experience snow but he didn't get to, but today he did, and he was so, like, nervous going into the snow. I'll insert a video I took on my phone of him, like, going into the snow really, like, slowly. And then he was, like, running in the snow and stuff, so I'll insert that here, but... He's over there right now. Do you see him? What is he doing? Rocket. <laughs> he loves lying on his back. Let me know if you guys have a dachshund too. They And I've seen so many dachshunds on TikTok and stuff. They love laying on their backs. And you're prone to back problems. Okay, I just put up a poll on my Instagram on what you guys would prefer, either daily vlogs or weekly vlogs. So I can see what you guys are kind of like in the mood for. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram. So far, I only posted this like literally five minutes ago. And um, we got lots of votes already for weekly vlogs. I don't know if this is gonna change, but honestly, I was expecting daily vlogs, so. Follow me on my Instagram and check out my stories. Okay guys, I'm headed to the gym. This is my gym fit. I'm wearing this like, zip up top. It's from Old Navy and then my workout like outfit is from Gymshark. This is like one of the first Gymshark um, sets that I've ever gotten and I've had it for years now and it's like my favorite set. This is the camo seamless. So I'm just wearing that under this and yeah. So me and Paula have been watching our Thailand and Vietnam vlogs. What do you have to say? I just wish I was back in my happier <laughs> Paula lost her spirit apparently. <laughs> that, that's where my life peaks and that's where it stays. <laughs> Yeah, I have my Thailand and Vietnam vlogs in a playlist if you guys want to watch, but me and Paul are reliving it right now because at this, on this, this day, time last, this time three years ago, we were in Thailand and Vietnam, which was the best trip of our lives. Yeah. And nothing is compared since. So we're just reliving it. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why do I look so different? <laughs> Guys, I. 
Miss Paula, her spirit. <laughs> Did you think so it was better last, like, three years ago? And Be careful. Equally as awesome. <laughs> Just uglier now. <laughs> wow, my editing back then. This is when I was like... You thought you were artsy. I was, look at me. Ah, period. <laughs> like, your outfits were, like, cute, but, like, you do look like you're, like... I was going through something. <laughs> Right after, yeah, right. No, no, no. This was right after this we fought. Cause we walked around first trying to figure out what to do, and then. Well, and then after we fought, we all massages. Yeah. Alright, guys. Look at us still um, de-escalating. At least I apologize. You did. I'm so pretty. I, why do I? I, I must. My montages, guys. Are you kidding me? We need to travel somewhere, Paula. Watch. And the music. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's where I died. <laughs> I left my soul there. My, my smile just seems so genuine. Like, I don't know. Like, we're on to. You were chubby. Yeah. 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 Yeah